want to start tonight with something we first told you about Friday. It could be a blip on most people's radar screen, but I think it's fairly significant. Friday, reporters and photographers at the Desert Sun walked out on strike. For three years, they've been trying to get a deal done. They staged a one-day walkout last year. It didn't help. When they walked out for real on Friday, things suddenly picked up, and now there's a deal in place. I find it interesting that the paper didn't cover the story of their people walking out. When there was a walkout at the L.A. Times, the Times did cover it because as the paper of record, the Times covers all news. The Desert Sun elected not to. Why does this matter? Because it could have been the end of the Desert Sun. Legacy media companies are hemorrhaging money. Gannett, which owns the Sun and USA Today, is not generating huge profits and never will again. It's not a great business. That's why coming to an agreement with the staff at the Sun is critical. It guarantees the Coachella Valley will still have a daily newspaper of record. All right, how did we get here? Well, the media business has changed, both in print and television. The traditional model and delivery system has lost relevance. Look at how you get your information. I've learned in a very short period of time that many people here in the Valley get it from Facebook or the Nextdoor app. I didn't say you get it from the Desert Sun or us or KESQ. You get what you want when you want it. And that's not how newspapers or broadcast television works. Honestly, that's why we're trying this approach. Something different, perspective, opinion, in theory, things that make you think, things that engage you. Our contributors tonight, Jimmy Fitz, host of the Crypto Fit Show, and Stephanie Green, CEO of FG Creative. Uh, Stephanie, I'll start with you. Do you think traditional media is as relevant as it once was? I think they have to work very hard to stay relevant at all. Some of them are, but the biggest problem has been the biased reporting and the change in how they're doing the job and not giving us all the news so that we can make informed decisions, but giving us their opinion. And I think that's what's caused the death. Jimmy, what do you think? I think technology is really uh, begs the question that we need to redefine what traditional media is. When we grew up, every big city had their papers. You had your three TV networks, you had a PBS station and an independent station, and that's where all the information got funneled. Now it seems everyone is a newspaper, every outlet, every website, video, information overload. It's time to reinvent the model to be able to survive. You know, it's interesting. We've learned from research. More people are informed about their world today than ever before, and fewer people than ever before get it from television or the newspaper. So for years, the media was the messenger. If people are getting the message elsewhere, then what can legacy and traditional media do, Jimmy? They need to be multimedia. They need to be everywhere. Podcasts, video, community i think as far as the desert and in in small town america and in even big cities across the country it's got to be localized it's got to really serve the community in multimedia fashion stephanie i'll give you 30 seconds final word go i think jim nailed it i think diversifying is one of the keys i want to go back to my point the other key is to just do your job just Give us the news from all perspectives so that we can make informed decisions. We can go out and dig around and get some other information. But the reason people don't trust legacy media is because legacy media is not giving the news anymore.